It is the moment that we've all been waiting for from Bob 3 of Go of Sao Season 2 Part 1. Potentially Zaza, don't know his name because he said that Kirito, you don't know my name because you never asked for it. Oh, oh that revelation, insane! Like, that's kind of silly, kind of fucking silly, but we're getting the fight between Death Gun and Kirito. This should be fucking lit. Let's begin today's reaction. That weapon is like made out of like space material. It's a NASA tech. While we have a shitty lightsaber. One moment to do what? Fuck it. Fuck it. No scope. Is no shot. There's no way Shino's gonna actually no scope today, right? Because the scope hasn't destroyed. If she just raw dogs it, yeet, and it's a hit death cut, dude. <laughs> she just needs to believe and she can no scope. <laughs> the darkness of SAO. <laughs> That's right, Kirito moves forward. Follow him, Shinon. The source of his strength. Fucking no scope. Man, could you imagine if today's episode title was just Zaza? Oh, there's no way his name is Phantom, right? Uh, what, what is this guy? What, what's his real name, bro? <laughs> 160 BPM? Bro, 40 more BPM? Kirito might unlock the fucking <laughs> Demon Slayer mark and then he can beat Death Gun. <laughs> Oh, really? The fuck? If he gets dehydrated enough, he gets cut off? No shot, she gets a fucking power up. No shot, Kirito actually gets. This is Asuna's one thing he does. She does. <laughs> she holds his hand, Kirito gets a power up, then he wins. Hey, that's like a way to like, you know, incorporate Asuna into the story because like, it, it sucks, right? Because she's like the main girl of Asayo and she got benched. She pretty much got benched in part two of season one as well. She is just stuck in a cage. It sucks what Asuna has, you know, devolved into. While Shino's out there fucking doing girl boss shit, just being independent as fuck, not a damsel in distress. I just wish Asuna would get some better moments, but hey, you can take the hand for now. <laughs> Touch him for me too. All right. <laughs> no you, you couldn't put a food on his <laughs> Papa, Papa, can you feel my warmth? No, Yui, you're a fucking iPhone. Oh, great. This has got to be the... Uh, like, I don't know if they're trying to be funny, but this might be one of the most unintentionally funny moments of SAO, bro. Oh, and yes, this is soon enough. This is the future. Well, no, the future is going to be better. We're going to have actual, you know, robot waifus with AI, like, the, and then AI, people like you are going to operate the fucking robot sex dolls, and that, that's, that's our future in about 10 to 20 years, but hey. <laughs> Could you... It would have been even funnier if Asta accidentally placed the hand out the, uh, a little bit lower and the phone just hung up and we just hang up on Yui when try It's okay, Yui, you can reach Kirito too. Accidentally clicks the fucking off line, you know, the end button. Yui's cut off. All right. Just pray. Let's go. Tell me your name! Okay, and main, and main character monologue means that he's about to do something crazy, right? That's slow motion, though. What? Which one? Which one? Who? Oh, oh, red eyes, red eyes, who's the red eyes here? There's, there's no names here, there's no name. <laughs> what is this guy's... He has a potato sack on his head. <laughs> this dude thought that having a potato sack on your head is scary? What the fuck? Red. Haka. Mask also matches the skull-like thing, so that's him right here. What's his name? Zaza 
Sansa for nothing. I did it. Oh, dude, I was so scared that Sansa was never gonna show up. I only said Sansa because it's so funny. Because wheat sounds like Sansa. Sansa is basically it's, it's it's slang for weed. And I saw Zaza in the logout menu in in Kaiba's fucking menu theme, bro. And I'm like Zaza. And that's the only name I remembered of the uh, the uh, the important people in the logout menu in the season one episode fourteen, and I'm like, I've been just yelling Zaza the entire time. Just thought it was funny, but it's like, yo, yo, it's actually Zaza, dude. Holy fuck, dude. that was so lucky. That was actually so lucky. This is not cooked. This is just like coincidence. Literally. I literally just like got so lucky. There is nothing that you can make the connection that this guy is Zaza other than just RNG chance. I just got fucking lucky as fuck. Oh, this is great. I feel better. Mm, the Data Live season three, the Among Us episode where we're trying to figure out who, you know, Natsumi could have been and then it was Yoshinone. That was an actual cooking moment. That was a big brain moment. This is just luck, but I got fucking lucky. Akame no Zaza. Akame no Zaza. Red eyes, Zaza. Wait. His eyes are red because he's smoking too much of that Zaza. He got that red. <laughs> no. No, dude. The memes just make sense, dude. Red eyes, Zaza. What now? <laughs> oh, Sinon! Fire! There's the opening! This almost sounds like Swordland, but it's not. Phantom Bullet episode title drop! What the fuck is happening here? What? What? Is he going invisible? Do it! Do it! Oh, wait, the, the Fortnite! What? The guns have been used! So smart! Oh my god, the slow motion! Oh, he did it! He did it! He did it! Gold Eye Kirito! Oh! He did it again! This motherfucker keeps cheating in every game! Clean in half! What, what about that explosion, though? Yeah, bro, literally cut him in half. <laughs> this still puts Shinon in danger because, like, that death gun, the medical student kid, even if he doesn't have the signal to do this, like, won't he still... I don't know, what's he gonna do anyways? I won't let it end until they find out and... I don't know what he means while I won't let it end. As in like killing other people as Death Gun until they find out. Who is they in this context? Other SAO survivors? I'm not really sure. And then there's the and part, dot dot dot. Don't know. And then what? Dead. Well, he's not actually dead. <laughs> So it's just Kirito versus Shinon now? Asuna, you did it! Y you and Yui reached him! Good job! Kirito has no fucking clue. Asuna and Yui are fucking touching him right now. Let's get real. You think he's even thinking about that right now? <laughs> Ain't no way! Shinon versus Kirito, let's go! The final round! Oh, this does look like the opening sequence, right? The battle? Yeah. Now what? Be careful, you're being recorded. You're being recorded. Don't don't cock the qu the cock quattro too hard. That's right. Because Shino technically is still in danger. There's a deranged motherfucker with the syringe that's about to kill me in my sleep right now. Oh, nice. Our plug will help out. Dox yourself in front of everybody. You gonna dox yourself? Oh my god. What is it? I, I want to know your address. 
<laughs> Not a kiss, but we got we got our address, man. We got we got that shit on ASMR address on lock. I know that the girls outside that's watching this must be fucking foaming at their fucking mouth. Sorry, no. Asna probably still looking down with you and going, oh, I'm here for you, kitty. To well, this motherfucker's getting other girls' contact, bro. Actually getting cucked. Date. No, no, this is not for dating. We're trying to save Shinon right now, but one could make the joke that, you know, we are cucking them by getting a girl's, you know, number, address. Dude, is this gonna be ALO finale all over again? Where we beat the main villain, but we log out and we have to fucking rush over to make sure that Asuna, in this case, Shinon, is not gonna get killed? Is Kirito gonna have to fucking <gasps> just bike and then fucking what? Is he gonna have to do that shit all over again? <laughs> no, that friend is death gun! <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> What's her, what's her real name? Asada. Did she use her real name in the game too, like Asuna? It's Asada. Was it Asada Shinon? She no. Okay, close, close. Okay, she, she's not. Okay, it's, it's not as bad as Asuna, where she's like, <laughs> my name is Asuna. In game two, yes. <laughs> she, 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 she tried a little bit harder. <laughs> Yeah, we should finish the duel, right? Someone's got to win. Nah, he's still able to dodge. You don't even have a scope. Bob 4. And now this is a long fucking time ago, right? This essay was season 2. When did this air? Like fucking like 2014, 15, right? This is like almost a decade ago. But I hear a new GGO anime is actually showing up. 2014, exactly. That shit's 10 years ago, man. Decade ago. But I hear GGO anime is coming up again, right? I'm not... I, I, it's like a side story anime. I, I, I think it's going to come out this year sometime. Imagine it's like Bob 4 there. I don't know. It's... I'm not... We'll probably check it out just to see if people give a fuck about it. But like, yeah. I wonder if people would actually care about GGO spinoff. But we can give it a try. Really? The third one can too. We're both gonna die. No? And then boom. We both win. <laughs> boom! <laughs> what a way to finish Bob 3, man. That was great. You know what? Actually going off with a bank. That was great, bro. Wouldn't have imagined this. That's the way they end the show, bro. Shinon X Kirito! Cook Quartet? Well, you know, <laughs> Klein is sitting in front of, you know, <laughs> Asna, but all they had to, they saw all of that, bro. <laughs> Holy shit, it's all the other characters too before. Remember the Avatar? <laughs> but, uh, wait, wait. Logout. Garrett and Pale Rider. They got disconnected as they're dead. Yeah. I feel so bad for Pale Rider, man. And yes, that is the idea, right? There has to be more than... Because, like, un I don't know. Uh, unless the medical school kid was just so fast and getting around. But I think they talk about the the location of different places and how, like, it didn't make sense time-wise how he could be in multiple places. So maybe there are more than two, you know, partners. But, man, Pale Rider was so fucking sick, dude. He just like had the coolest design, showed up so cool, doing all these different fucking, like he's a shotgun style, doing like parkour, just closing the gap. So sick. I think it's done so dirty. Uh oh. Is that kid there? Where is he? What's going on? Still in the room? Is he in the room? No, he's not. It's pretty dark, but no, I think he's not here, but still suspicious. Still be on, be on guard. I don't feel good about this. This soundtrack, this fucking soundtrack is so sinister. Where is he? Oh! <laughs> stop! You're making me stop! Ah! Stop! 
<laughs> no, no, no. This is the classic. No, no. This is the classic horror jump scare where you anticipate something is about to jump scare. It gets your guard up, and then it's like a cute mouse shows up, cute rabbit shows up, and you're like, oh, right. That's what Shinon just said here. Oh, I'm just feel so stupid. Now the audience is gonna feel their its attention's gone, and the guard drops, and then they fucking hit you. I'm ready perfectly. I'm ready perfectly. Ah! Don't open the door! It's not Kirito! Don't open! <sighs> no, it's his voice! It's his voice! It's his voice! No, 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 no! It's him, it's him, dude! It's him, dude! No, 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 no! But the, but the, he, she, she trusts him! She trusts him! She doesn't know! She's gonna let him in! Oh! She thinks that... <laughs> どうしても優勝のお祝いが言いたくて。これ優勝本当におめでとう。すごいよ、朝田さん。死の。でも僕には分かってたよ。朝田さんなら持ってない本当の強さがあるんだから。ありがとう。何？朝田さん。いや、for the for the answer, Kita said. Look at that moon. Yeah, Zacido. This kid is like, no, I need my answer now. Fuck you. No, 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 no. I waited for this. I ain't Sugu, dude. I ain't Leafa. Give me my fucking answer, motherfucker. Where is it? Oh, the shadow. Ooh, scary creepy. Creepy. It's him, Shino, and it's Death Gun. Where's my hug? Oh, that's some creepy super senior shit. Where's my hug? Where's my hug? Oh. No. Kick him in the dick, run. Nice. And then what's in there? What's in there, dude? It's probably the syringe. It's probably the fucking syringe in there, bro. Oh, this is so creepy, dude. Oh, where are you at? The syringe, right? Oh my god, dude. Oh! Was that the same syringe you used? To she hasn't used it. Yeah. He hasn't used it. He hasn't used it. Oh, what the fuck? The Kirito needs to show up right fucking now, dude. But then what happened? Kirito shows up, bro. What happens? Like, he has her, like, like, syringe point. Like, what are we fucking gonna do? Uh, uh, maybe, you know, be sick. It would be sick if she was able to resolve this by herself without Kirito's help, which would then solidify her as, like, the best girl ever. Doesn't need a prince to save her. She is a girl boss. She fucking just independent as fucking did it. What could she do right now? There is the model gun in the drawer. But, like, it's a fake gun, right? I mean, you could still fucking hit him in the head with it. Maybe you could just fucking throw it. But, like, at this, like, point-blank range, like, we're kind of fucked, right? Like, the, the leg position, you're right. We could kick him in the dick, go for the gun, and then what? The gun doesn't really shoot. Death gun, yeah. Medical studies, like, just makes sense. One of Death Gun's hands, multiple Death Guns, right? Zaza. I wonder how Zaza and this kid even met. Because he didn't play SAO. How, how, how did they all like network, man? Like, how does that make sense? Hmm. I don't want to be spoiled, but like, because he didn't play SAO. But he was already doing some shady shit, and then they kind of... I don't know, man. He's, he's like a fucking underground doctor or some shit. I don't fucking know. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, okay, wait, first of all, first of all, that line, I won't let anyone touch you, even if we are brothers. Like, 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 wait. No, 
I, I, there's multiple things to unpack here. It's creepy enough. It's the idea of if I can't have you, no one can have you. But then you bring the example of even if I had a brother, I would not let her touch you. Like what? 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 What does that even? What? What? My brain is, huh? Huh? I, I, I siblings. That's weird already. Why would she? Anyways. Is that? Oh, that's the implication. Zaza is the brother? Is that, he, There's... Even if you're a brother, I can't let other men touch you. But Zaza would have never touched her. In the game, if Zaza would have tried to do something, would he have stopped? Did he prevent her? Prevent him from, like, working? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Was there an example of when he stopped Zaza from doing this? Yeah, in episode 9 or 10. In, in episode 9 or 10, right? I, I, I know he wanted to take it up by himself. I, 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 I understand. But like... I, I know they both have a death gonna cut. I'm just trying to think of like, was there a situation in Bob 3 where Zaza like, um... Tried to like, he can switch avatars? What? So he could have just gone in... So they just swap. Sometimes he does the syringe, sometimes the other dude does the syringe. So, some, sometimes... It, it, uh, the roles change sometimes. That, 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 oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. I thought that he never was in and he was always doing this shit, but then in-game he wouldn't have let Zaza, you know, fucking do the fucking this thing and therefore things would have to... I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Kick him in the dick! Does he even give a fuck about that? I don't think he ever cared. Like, 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 like I would never want a person like him to be my doctor. No, nah, this is already too ruined. There's no redemption. No, no, no. Kick him in the dick and end him. Lore! But that jackass Zexy spread that lie about Aji type being the strongest. He fell for it, put all his stats into Aji. He could no longer be the strongest. He killed Zexy. <laughs> Bro fell for the scam. Skill issue. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. Why he killed Zexy? This is great, the revelation. I would like to think that Pale Rider was all agi build. Look how fast Pale Rider was, right? Was he not all agi? I don't know. Anyways, bro's killing over and fucking being the strongest. That's a you problem, bro. What a stupid reason. Bro, you got scammed in a video game and try to be the best, and then you realize that, holy shit, my account got scammed, so you decided to kill people. Like, this is the most, like, most sane, just, like, chronic... I don't even know what examples to give. What game right now is so fucking crazy right now that would do this shit like this? I don't know, but, like, holy fuck. The most fucking insane person. He just tried to kill people because he, this, he got, you know, scammed into putting his stats into a wrong thing? Bro, what the fuck? They keep looking back at this box. What's in this box right now? <laughs> what do you mean next one? Next game? <laughs> You wanna play that pussy ass children's fairy game? <laughs> Kick him in the dick! His, his, his dude, her leg is right there, just fucking and then something in the box, the white box, there's something in there. I don't know what it is though. The trauma, and then he manipulated her, fully aware, the exposed, vulnerable girl. He then tried to pick her up and try to be the support. He's gotta be the creepiest motherfucker, dude. No game at all.
This is the most creepy motherfucker that psycho like this psychologically manipulates vulnerable girls because that's the only thing he can get, and he can't even do it properly. Bro couldn't even raise a girl that was so psychologically, emotionally abused and vulnerable. Dude has no fucking game. Negative game. Yeah, that also means, yeah, exactly. The gun that, you know, Zaza used, right? They used the pistol, the same gun. There's no way. That's not a coincidence. It, it's 100% intentional, right? <laughs> yeah, there it is. Type 54 as the weapon. Here it is, the explanation. This is kind of like... The, uh, what's his fucking name, dude? Uh, fucking Sogo or some shit? Uh, fucking Oberon. This is Oberon equivalent of AO, huh? We, uh, why does SAO always have a creepy villain like this? Is there another, like in season three, even in part two, this, it's not really a spoiler. You guys, you guys can tell me. Is there a creepy villain in every fucking part? Are you serious? I don't think that's a spoiler. I, I don't think like knowing up to, are you for real? There's a creepy dude. Are you serious? Dude, all of I am starting to appreciate Kaiba more and more and more as this go on. Maybe this was, you know, the fucking author of SAO's intention. They decided, how do I humanize this fucking psychopath who decided to stick, you know, people in a game and they could die? 4,000 people die. How do you make that guy look good? By introducing pieces of shit, dude. That's why they call it sexual assault online. You know what? Honestly, you're not wrong. Like, Oberon did the same shit. It was so creepy. This guy's in the same shit. It's so creepy. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Bang! Wait, what are we doing? Flashback? Basically, Shino retreating to her shell. Save me. He's probably on his way right now, right? Fuck, he's taking his sweet time. Kick him in the dick! Your leg is in the perfect position! Asada and Shinon, the alter egos! This is great, dude! If Asada, like, gets the motivation from wanting to protect Kirito and then solves this by herself and then Kirito shows up, right, and then solves it, like a teamwork kind of deal, that's fucking amazing. That would be, like, the best ending. Because I don't want just, like, Asada just to get saved by Kirito. Because it, then it's just, like, we're doing the damsel in distress again thing, you know? But if we're able to just, like, fight for Kirito, kick him in the dick, then Kirito shows up, that's a wrap. Asuna could never... <laughs> Oh, sometimes all you need is a schizo moment, bro. Ew, ew. Why oh, did I shoot kick him in the dick? Kirito! The door, though. Oh, fuck the door. Why is it so complicated? No, shit. No! Fuck, he's so creepy. Kirito! Ooh. Don't you dare cliffhanger me. Don't you dare cliffhanger me! That's right, that's Kirito! That's right, it is! Damn, this episode was fucking peak. Now, the creepy shit that happened with, you know, she's not here. Ugh, ugh. Why, why does there always have to be this motherfucking dude, this rapey ass dude in every fucking part, dude? Like, come on, man. They always doing this shit, but at the very least, the other stuff was super hype, right? The whole revelation of Red Eye Zaza. I honestly can't say that I cooked because there's nothing that really made me connect a dot. It was just a schizo guess based off of memes of off of a fucking weed meme because people you know refer to it as Zaza. But somehow the Zaza also being red eye, I think that is poetic because you know you get red eyes and you talk up. So it's like I I I'll take a little bit of credit. I'll take a little bit of credit. Got super lucky with this one. The fight overall was pretty hype. Asna and you, dude. <laughs> when they put the hand on Yui's phone, that might be peak SAO comedy. It's like they're not trying to be funny, but like I just can't help but burst into tears laughing because of how ridiculous this shit is. But hey, this is the only way that uh, Yui and Asuna could get incorporated into the story, do a little bit of, you know, offline cheerleading. The Zaza is also not dead. 
Zaza is dead in game, but you know, Zaza still logged off. And Zaza was also this creepy motherfucker's brother. And Zaza also said it's not over yet until they know and dot 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 implying they're still going after SAO survivors to remind them of who we really are and then I don't really know what their overall plan is but you know Zaza may return into the story in the future. Shinkawa though what a creepy motherfucker this dude had to find a girl he had such negative riz that his only way of thinking that he could get a girl is to find a girl who was so emotionally traumatized you know using that gun and then trying to be a good person it's just so creepy and he still couldn't fucking do it man literally negative riz i'm also happy that asada didn't just get saved by kirito by just like giving up you know this is a schizo moment where shina was talking to asada saying let's fight for someone else right Nah, I'm not gonna say Asuna could never, but Shinon is a fantastic character that is so strong and bold and, you know, it's just so refreshing to see a girl again who is not a damsel in distress and it's just been such... I'm glad that she was like the main heroine of GGO and like, I think it's gonna be pretty hard to find a girl that's gonna be better than, you know, Asuna in the moving seasons, but I think that according to some pictures and posters of season 3 and season 4 content, I don't think it's gonna be a girl that competes. I think we're going into BL Yaoi territory, so that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists here for more content. And until next time, take care.